Hi, what is up guys, Loser Manic here, and welcome back to another video, or welcome to another video. Um, I'm gonna have to change that. It sounds oddly similar to Call Me Chris. Anyways, I'll, I'll work on it later. I decided that I would go through the entire, or kind of give my thoughts on the entire Leprechaun franchise. And yes, I got the new one. Um, I got this a couple days ago, well not a couple days ago. Um, I'm not sure when I got it, but I got it a couple days well, I think a week after I made that video talking about my um, horror movie review or my horror movie collection, um, I did say that I was going to get the new one and I was not lying. I got Leprechaun Returns. Um, let me make sure this is in its place properly. I... So I'm going to go in order, kind of give my thoughts about each of the movies. Um... <laughs> But before I do that, I'm going to be straightforward and say that the from Leprechaun 1 to Origins, in my opinion, it just gets worse as the, the, the franchise goes on. But as you'll see in a moment, that is kind of differing a bit. Um, I may say that it gets worse as the franchise goes on, but just follow along. Just Disc made in Mexico. Cool. I don't care. Um, but just keep in mind that, um, you'll, you'll understand why, why I say that, um, but that, that's not to discredit a lot of these. Some of these are good, um, and it's just my own opinion, so if you like some of these, um, that's, that's cool. I, I, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the sticker off of this, it makes it easier. That's a lot smaller sticker than I thought it was. Huh. Anyways, so, okay. and why am I doing this? Because this is um, a franchise that is a franchise. <laughs> because this is a franchise, and I wanted to talk about this now that I have Leprechaun Returns. Um, and I talked about it in my collection, how I wanted to get it. So I figured I'd just sit down and talk about the entire Leprechaun franchise, kind of give my thoughts. Um, I know D uh, Dead Meat already did like a ranking of some of these, so... Um, that's why I say this is my opinion. My opinion is different from his. He may like certain movies and I may not. That's fine. I'm not saying this in response to I'm not making this in response to him. This that video was made like what a year two years ago close to that. Um, so yeah, so let's start off with the first um, Leprechaun the Leprechaun. Let's start with that. Um, so I thought I thought Leprechaun 1 was pretty good. Um, um, if you do watch this franchise, you may notice that it gets pretty weird as the series goes on. It, it, it kind of does bring in, like, um, um, things about the Leprechaun, like, um, his weakness is shoes. Um, if a shoe is dirty, uh, he has to clean them, or if you see shoes, he has to make sure that is top-notch and spot-on. Um, he does kill people for his gold, but I think that his powers are very limited to his gold. So if he doesn't have his gold, then... Or if he doesn't kill people, then his powers are very limited. Um, I think. It's been one since I've seen the first one, but I'm kind of going off of Leprechaun Returns. Because Lepre Leprechaun Returns is the sequel to the first Leprechaun. It takes place, like, what, 25 years later, I think. Um... And yeah, Warwick Davis in the, in these movies is a goddamn genius. Um, he plays the Leprechaun pretty damn well. Um, so yeah, next is Leprechaun Two, a pretty weird one because he they, they they take like some of the perks of the first one and throw them out the window. Um, now in Leprechaun One, his reasoning for killing is because people have taken his gold. The reason for him killing in Leprechaun Two is that he's is that people are in the way of his future wife. Um, I I don't get it. I don't know why they switched it from being killing for his pot of gold to killing because he doesn't get a wife. But I'm not here to judge. Um. It is pretty confusing. Um, he has powers that, like, he can manipulate, like, certain items. Like, he, in one of the kills, he has, he, he disguises a lawnmower as, like, a naked woman. It's so weird. Um, and it's confusing. Um, he does voice manipulation, which I think is pretty common in, I think, the first one. I can't remember. It's been, like, almost a year since I've seen the first one. Almost. Um, it's been, like, a couple, actually, it's been, like, 
11 months since I've last seen or five months since I've last seen it. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I almost say, I remember I said almost a year and then, then just say like a month or five months. Next is Leprechaun 3. So this one's going to be a lot more fresh in my mind. Um, Again, he kills because he doesn't have all of his pot of, or he doesn't have a shilling. He's one shilling short from his pot of gold. Um, this one takes place in Vegas, so it's pretty interesting to say the least. Um, they, they mentioned this once and never again, but you can turn into a leprechaun if you're, if leprechaun blood gets in your system, in your blood system. They mention that once and then they just let it go throughout like the rest of the, the, the franchise. It's really weird as to why they would do that. Um, a really hilarious kill in number three is um, one of the females asked to be like younger, had like a sexy body, big breasts, uh, or like an impressionable boobs, an impressionable ass. Um, but then like once his like, if his shilling is gone or someone else has it and makes another wish, then that wish is turned against them. So, and one of the ways that um, this woman dies is by extended lips, um, extended breasts, and extended ass up to the, it's expanded, it um, gets bigger and bigger up to the point where she looks like a damn duck and explodes and dies and it's crazy. Oh, <laughs> it is amazing. Um, but, and they and this is the first time they ever introduce um um a necklace. There's a necklace in the series um that is the Leprechaun's weakness in Leprechaun Three um and Leprechaun in the Hood. Those are the only two movies that are ever expressed with a necklace um, that is the Leprechaun's weakness. Um and yeah, Leprechaun in space um. Is Leprechaun 4, first of all. It's Leprechaun 4 in space. And it kind of rehashes the second plot, uh, the second movie plot, which is where he kills because people are in the way of getting his future wife. He definitely needs one for royalty purposes. He wants to be king of fucking something. I'm not sure why. So he kills people because they are in the way of him and his bride being married, him becoming king. That's the only reason he marries him. Or that's the only reason that he, he's willing to get married. Not for love and whatnot, but because he wants to be king. He just pretends to be in love and whatnot, but whatever. Um, it's, it's, it's weird to say the least. Um, they added stuff that makes no sense. Like the way the leprechaun comes into play is he explodes in the first one. Or in the first half, or not the first half, but he explodes at some point, and then he comes out of some some dude's dick. It's so weird, um, and that's how and that's how that dude dies. Um, he gets ten times bigger than, or I say ten times because that's what I I'm used to. He gets he gets a lot bigger in the in the movie, and then he dies. There's a lot of stuff that was <coughs> added. Some dude's blood is mixed with a spider and a scorpion. And now all of a sudden that dude becomes part scorpion, part man, part spider. Um, abomination thing. It's, it's so, it's so confusing. I don't get it. Um, and there's a lot of nudity in like the second and third one. Um, not so much in the fourth one. Um, so if you're a nudity person, you, um... Are not gonna like this one. If you're a nudity person, you are not gonna like the the. You're only gonna like the second and third one. So yeah, that's that's about it. Um. Or to, yeah, the fourth one has nudity, but again, if you're if you if you care if you're just the type of person that cares about movies for nudity, then the second, third, and fourth one are gonna be the only good ones for you then. But. I watched this movie because I was curious about it. Leprechaun in the Hood has iced tea in it, and it makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. He kills because of a flute, not not the gold. He only cares about the flute. What's this flute do for a Leprechaun? I don't know. Why does he need it so bad? I don't know. He just needs it. It's so weird. Um, 
That's the only reason he kills, not for a bride or missing gold, but because of the fact that he doesn't have the flute. That's all he cares about. Gold, fine. He just needs the golden flute. That's all he needs. You can you, you can take his gold all you want. You just the flute. Why? I don't know. It, it may have explained it, but I forgot. Now we have Leprechaun back to the hood. Kind of kind of brings up the last one of kind of going back to the first one and third one without the necklace. So I guess kind of rehashing the first one is that he kills because he needs his gold. There's no weakness. He is killed by um, he can be killed by four leaf clovers. That is something I forgot was mentioned in the first one was that um, the way to kill him is with a four leaf clover. And um, if parts of him aren't um very close together make sure you destroy every part of him that's what they that's what they express um and yeah so he does kill people because they're in the way of the gold um page kennedy um if you're into vine he's in this movie too he's he's pretty good at it um so yeah, and then next we have the worst one of all, Leprechaun Origins. Um, Leprechaun Origins is by far the worst movie ever. And I'm going to tell you why. Because there's no Leprechaun in the movie. There's mention of him, but there's no like proper Leprechaun. Like there's no, Fiddle DT, I need me gold type thing. No, it's just some like, like some gargoyle looking thing. Um, no disrespect to Hornswoggle at all with people who made this. Uh, sorry, that was that was very loud. Um, I dropped it. Um, yeah, no no offense to the people who made the movie, but the movie as a whole um, is pretty bad. Um, no, th there is Irish people in the movie. It takes place in Ireland. The only thing I can think of is that um, this Leprechaun rendition of the other ones before Leprechaun Origins is supposed to be like the American rendition because um, it takes place anywhere else but Ireland. But I, I think the only thing I can think of with Leprechaun Origins is that um, it's more Ireland's rendition or it's supposed to be. I don't know. I don't know Ireland um, folklore of leprechauns or whatnot. Maybe it's the same across the board. But all I know is, is that this isn't a leprechaun. It's a goddamn grem a goblin. I almost said gremlin. That's a different movie. It's a goddamn goblin that makes tiger noises or uh, growling noises. That sounds like he's very hungry. Um, or he's, he sounds like he could be the lead singer of a fucking death metal group. That's what this leprechaun sounds like. Um, it walks on all fours. So it's basically an animal. Like no leprechaun whatsoever. The only leprechaun feature about it is that he's in Ireland and his weakness is fucking gold. Um, that's it. That's the only That's the only like sim similar thing to a leprechaun. And... There's no like, there's no like mention of, there's only a mention of a leprechaun, that's how we know it's supposed to be a leprechaun. But there's, it dies with beheading, which seems so out of place for the leprechaun franchise. Because you can behead the leprechaun all you want, it can bring his head back to its place. You've, we've seen that multiple times if you've watched all the series up until Leprechaun Origins. It can bring his head, it can do whatever. The only way to kill it is through like, is like consuming a four leaf clover. That's the only way it can die. It's so, it's so weird, but like what? what's the gold, like, like, what's the gold say? Like, what's the meaning of the gold in Leprechaun Origins? It makes no sense. You just see the dude with his, like, golden Rolex. Just hand him. Or just place the golden Rolex on the, on the fucking doorway, and that's it. That's all you. That's all you. That's the only gold thing about this movie. Is that. Th it's, it's, it's so weird. Um. Yeah, and like I mentioned before, um, it gets worse and worse. But this one, Blippercon Back to the Hood was okay. This one is god awful. So we go from like here to like straight down to like, like we're, like Back to the Hood could be like the, the roof of the, of this building, on the roof of this room or the ceiling of this room. And then so that's like, okay. And then it just goes straight to the floor. Like that's how bad it is. It's so bad. 
Um, but again, no disrespect to the people who made it, but this movie is awful. Next, we have probably the better half of the Leprechaun. So this one takes place 25, like I mentioned before, takes place 25 years after the first Leprechaun. Um, I do like the Leprechaun in this one. He is funny. Um, very entertaining. Um, he is a very quick-witted person. He does have witty remarks. Not all of them are good. There are some witty remarks in this movie. Not all of them are good. Um, like that one shamrock shake joke. I don't know where that came from. Um, I get, I, I get the point behind it. Like, it, the weakness is like a, sh a shamrock or a four-leaf clover. But really, a shamrock shake, that's the best you could come up with. <laughs> Come on, um, it's I don't hate it. It's just fucking cheesy. Um, but this was pretty good. I do like like graphic gore and whatnot. And you see some dude get um cut in half with a solar panel. You see some you you see like um some dude's head get crushed by a mailbox or by a tire with his head stuck in the mailbox. Um, another kill has like one of those like water sprinkler things like those. It's, it goes like through the mouth and like blood s shoots out of it like it's a water fountain um, or sprinkler system. One of them gets beheaded by a drone. Um, it is it is crazy. And the and the fact that the leprechaun and the the last kill, which is I gotta say, is probably the most boring of the ones, is the. Is the one where like the lady falls on a trophy that's shaped like a, a trowel. I don't know why there's a a trowel shaped um, trophy, anyways. But she trips and falls. That's about the only like terrible kill in that one. It's just boring to me. It's it's pretty cool to see. Don't get me wrong, but compared to the other ones, that one's just pretty straightforward and boring. But but yeah, I do like the Leprechaun of this one. Um, no disrespect to Warwick Davis, I love the I love Warwick Davis's Leprechaun, but I just like this one better. Probably because I'm a new age person, so something like this is pretty good. Um, it is 93 minutes long of so it is 93 minutes of pure goodness. Um, <laughs> and what's interesting is that um. And, and you know that it takes place 25 years after, not because they tell you, but because in the first, in the first movie, one of the characters' name is Ozzy. Ozzy appears in this movie 25 years older than before, um, and Jennifer Aniston is also in this movie, and um, Jennifer Aniston's character has a daughter who's also in this movie. She's the main character of the movie. Um, so Jennifer Aniston's character's daughter is in the That's a... I, I don't remember her name, but she's in, um, she's in the movie. Um, and there, don't get me wrong, there are, while the movie is good, there are some very dislikable characters, mostly Meredith. or That's about the only like horrible character just because she sells herself out to the leprechaun um, for, for gold or whatever. Which, I mean, it's the leprechaun. Like, you've got to... You got you got to make you can never trust a leprechaun. Um, and he even um, he made a deal with her that like he would not lay a hand on her, but uh, she, he did not say anything about killing her. Um, so that's how she ends up dying. Um, and yeah, so that is my um, rendition or my thoughts on the entire leprechaun franchise. I hope they make more. Similar to this one, I doubt because this one is like a nice change of pace. It kind of cleans up the entire series. Especially considering the fact that this one takes place um, 25 years after the first one. So like 2 through Origins is not is not canon anymore, I guess. Thank God for Origins not being canon. I, I doubt it ever was in the first place, but whatever. Anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Um, comment down below. If you guys have seen the Leprechaun movies, tell me your thoughts about them. I would love to hear from you. Um, next franchise I'm going to do is either It, Saw, or A Quiet Place. Those are the last two. I, those are the, like, the last three I need to do. Saw is going to be a lot. Um, I might have to look for Spiral, though. That's the problem. I need to look for Spiral. Um, so, with that, um, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, 
Um, and if you do subscribe, hit that bell notification to be notified so when I upload, because I don't have a schedule. Lose a manic, out.